Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a professional email signature in Gmail and Outlook. We will see how to add images, social logo and links. Ok, let's get started. Here I am on my PC, let's start to see how it looks like my email signature in Outlook. Here I am using my personal email. If I click on the button New Message, I can see my email signature. What I created here is basically a table with three columns. In the first column I have my profile picture, in, my, in the second column I have text with hyperlinks to my social networks and finally in the third one I added a MVP logo. Now let's see in Gmail. So let's jump on Gmail that I have already opened here. Let me click on the Compose button and here in this corner we can see this email signature. Now how you can create this cool and professional email signature? Let me show you now in a bit. Now I'm going to minimize this window because I want to show you that I already prepared on my desktop the needed images to build my email signature. Opening again the browser and opening a new tab, I'm going to open office.com. This is the website that you can reach even if you have a private email, outlook.com, for example. If you are more familiar with Google Docs, it doesn't matter, you can use Google Docs. It's the same thing. But the goal here is to use an online tool like Word Online, for example, or Google Docs, as I already mentioned, because the copy paste it works definitely better. Now I'm going to, to click here on Word and let me click on the plus button to create a new blank document. This dropped me on a blank page. Let's start to add on a, a table. I'm going to click on the insert pivot and then table. Here I'm going to use a two for one table. And here we go, this is already added. Now I'm going to resize a little bit this window so I can drag and drop all images that I need. First of all, I'm going to copy this profile picture that I have here and, go, and I'm going to paste it in this cell. Now let me make it a little bit fancy. I'm going to click on this one and then I'm going selecting uh, the pivot picture. So in this way I can choose another figure. I'm going to select soft edge oval that it looks very very good. Now I can resize a little bit this picture just to find the right uh, the right sides. This this sides it's fine. I can also move and resize the table and it's time now to add text here. So let me add my name. Here we go. Now I'm going below and here I can start to drag and drop all images that I have here. I can start with the first one. Let's start to resize this. Now next to this image that I can better size. Next to this image I can paste the URL of my LinkedIn profile. Okay, LinkedIn, then I'm going to add the second one which is YouTube. And then I'm going to add the last one, which is my MVP profile. And finally my website. Here we go. I added all needed links. Now let's start to drag and drop the YouTube icon. So I can resize this as well. It's fine so. The MVP profile that I have here. And perfect, this is fine. I added all the text that I need and now I can create hyperlinks. To do that I'm going to click on insert, then link, and here I can add my hyperlink. Hyperlink added. I'm going to do the same for all other social network, YouTube, the profile, the MVP profile, and the website. Here we go. So it's it looks nice. My email signature. I have just to adjust the size of this of this text. 
I can go again on the home pivot and here I can change the size of this font for example I can make it a little bit bigger I can resize this table now selecting this table I can remove every border so to do that I'm going to select this table and then I'm going to select table design in border selection I can click on no border and here we go now my table is completely transparent so I can select now all elements contained in this sheet then if I go back on my email and if I click on the settings icon in Outlook I can jump directly in view all site settings compose and reply and here I can find the section related to my email signature if you don't have any kind of email signature you have to click on the link new signature so you can create a new one and then you can select everything then you can just copy and paste it and voila the email signature it's just ready to go you have to save and and this will be available when you create a new email all right we have seen how to create a professional email signature in gmail and outlook if you enjoyed this video as always please consider to subscribe like comment stay tuned and i hope to see you next time bye